Hi, this is Nikki with Why Rocket. You can follow me at Facebook, um, facebook.com slash whyrocket, or Nikki Rock on Twitter, Nikki Rock at uh, Instagram, and Pinterest also. Today I'd like to share my favorite products right now. I would say this is my favorite products November slash October because it's kind of in the middle of November. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my favorite facial skincare products. Um, every morning I am totally in love with the Garnier. So my favorite um, every morning is the Garnier Skin Renew Radiance Moisturizing Cream. I was using it morning and night until I found the Garnier Skin Renewed Dark Spot Overnight Peel. So I can't give you a full review and tell you if I love it, but so far I do. I've used it like three nights and I think I already see a difference in the texture. I can't say that it's lightened any dark spots, but I can definitely see a difference in the texture. Then we'll go ahead and move on to um, my foundation. After I do the, the skin cream in the morning, I go ahead and do the Garnier BB Cream. This kind of is starting to sound like a Garnier commercial, but for some reason their skincare products are so awesome. If I'm going to work, I use this almost as my um, primer also because it has SPF in it, so I can use it as my moisturizer, my primer, and my SPF. But if it's Saturday or Sunday and I don't feel like doing the rest of my makeup and I'm just going to do quick, I'll use this as just my foundation. And then really quickly after I do my BB cream, I go ahead and do the Garnier also, the skincare anti-dark circle roller. This is the one that is tinted. It's just a light tint as you can see, but it kind of just gives you a little wake up in the morning. They do have one that's not tinted, but um, I use a different night, um, eye cream at night that I can't say is my favorite, so it's not included in here. Then moving on to my foundation, I do the Revlon Color Stay. I use two different shades um, to help kind of feature my face and accentuate it. Um, I feel like in the winter I get pretty light, so I use the dark one um, below my um, cheekbone and down. I kind of use the darker shade, which is Sand Beige. And then I use the buff for my above my cheekbones and up to kind of, you know, just make a difference and add a little bit more depth into your skin in winter so I don't look quite like Snow White. Then to brighten up those cheekbones after I've used that white, I love this Hard Candy Glow All The Way. Um, hard Candy is only at Walmart, but I do the glow all the way. I mix it a little bit with... There goes one of my favorite eyeshadows that I just broke some. I do the glow all the way. I mix it with a little bit of foundation so that it's not so pinky. And then I just dab it right on my cheekbones, the, the bridge of my nose, and then right on my forehead. Maybe the cupid's bow right there. Then on to blush. I have three favorite blushes in here that I'll add. Um, this one is um, a creamy, liquidy blush. It's not quite a cream. Um, and it is the NARS Orgasm, but it's crazy expensive. Um, when I got to the checkout, I didn't realize as expensive as it was, but it, it's a little bitty bit goes a really long way, so it'll probably last me years. <laughs> if you don't want to splurge for the, garden, uh, for the um, NARS, these two are awesome. Um, I'll say that this is uh, Milani's blush in Luminoso. It's 05 and it has been said to be the same color as the powder version of the NARS Orgasm Blush. Or my other favorite that I use almost every single day. Excuse me, I'm about to sneeze. Maybe here soon. <coughs> Sorry. Is Wet n Wild. The color is pink something. I accidentally bought two. I'll um, insert it down below um, so that you know exactly what color this was. But the, these wet wilds are like only $1.99 or $2.99 or something. So it's awesome blush and it'll last you forever. I'm going to grab that eyeshadow really quick. This one really did break. So this is my absolute favorite. And it's the Stila Kitten. It's one of my um, 
other than the NARS, it's my only non-drugstore product that I have in my favorites for this month. And it's like been my favorite for months. So, and it lasts forever except that I stink and broke it. Um, and it again is the Stila Kitten. Um, Stila's eyeshadows are so smooth and cream. It's just awesome. And then I also want to include in my favorites this month the, um, the Wet n Wild Color Icon Shadows in Walking on Eggshells. I'm sure you've heard about it, but you really almost can't go wrong with it. It looks great on so many skin types, but I use it almost every day. You can see I've already hit paint on part of the colors. And to finish off my look, I'm going to um, show you the best eyeliner. It's it's almost like riding on your face with a, on your eyelids with a marker. It's the um, Jordana Cosmetics In Color Fabu Liner in black. Uh, uh, it's just so smooth and you can make the angle and, and it's so hard sometimes with liquid liner to get it as precise and even and, and this is just great for that. The other two, you've heard a million people talk about the CoverGirl Last Bash Volume Mascara. But I have a secret for you. This one is great, but this one is good to go on first. It's the Milani Distinct, Distinct Lash. It says it lengthens and separating mascara. It's definitely a separating. It has this awesome little brush that you can take and get into the bottom of your lashes and into the base of the top of your lashes so that you can make them look thick and full. And then you come in and I use my CoverGirl Lash Blast. Lash Blast to um, make them bigger after I've already used the Milani. My last favorite, I have like a million favorite, three favorite colors in this, but it's the Milani Glitz Gloss, Glitzy Gloss. This color is first class, and all I have to say is these have a yummy smell. Let's see. Mm, what would I say? Kind of like a candy smell. But they do, they're not tacky, they have a nice color, they last well, and they go over lipstick well without changing the color of the lipstick, just adding depth to it. These are really great, and Milani's, I've just found out, found that I really love Milani's lip glosses. They do have a smell, so if you're averse to smells of lip glosses, maybe you don't head that way. But like I said, you can't beat the color. Thank you so much for jo my, uh, joining me to view my favorites this month, and I look forward to sharing the, my favorites at the end of November.